Call it Park Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' in the world. Booty, booty. All right, going over your list of medications, you're still good on taking the narco pain medication and the tizanidine, correct? Right. Were you able to get your blood pressure taken any time recent? Uh, last time, no. Last time was the last time. What was it last time? <laughs> 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 hold on let me check i think i think i wrote it in here for you i got you hold on <laughs> all right hold on i'm almost to the part where i could tell you all right i got you so 113 over 80. okay can i put you at did you want the 9 a.m yes that'll work okay so i got you for 9 a.m on march 19th okay just a moment he's finishing up with a new patient all right. Everyday thing, y'all know, y'all know. It's my computer. That's that computer. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all and today is a car talk. All right, so this video was highly requested. It was a video basically explaining the difference between medical assistant and administrative medical assistant. Me currently, I'm a medical assistant as far as for back office. You see the badge and basically i wanted to kind of tell you guys the difference between the two now usually whenever you talk about administrative medical assistant and regular medical assistant it's more so like administrative is front office work and medical assistant is back office work so if i say that between the two that's what i'm talking about by the way before i get started into this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to know every video that i drop don't forget to hit the notification box um i do check all my comments so that's why i always try to do like the requested videos all right so basically a medical assistant is basically whenever you work underneath a physician or doctor um some medical assistants do work underneath nurses but it's rare for the most part i see a lot of them that works underneath a doctor for the most part um so basically the duties that a medical assistant do basically the back office medical assistant you'll be taking vital signs vital signs consist of your temperature blood pressure um your pulse um you know all those type of things your heart rate respiration rate all those type of things you guys will be able to see videos as far as from using the manual one where i use the stethoscope and the blood pressure cuff to take the blood pressure and i'll enter those type of information into e-clinicals um also you'll be able to give injections or medication so for the most part i'll usually kind of like um you know as far as for cancel prescriptions or anything like that i don't basically give medications to patients i have to dispose of medications so i have to like count them and discard them and stuff like that but for the most part the doctor is the one that signs off on the prescription medical assistants never do that um also as far as for injections i do help assist with trigger point injections so i feel like that's always good as well too and you'll help the patient as far as for examination so when i was working obgyn i'll help assist with ultrasounds help assist with pap smears you basically get everything set up for the most part i feel like back office is more for me because i like to do a lot of moving around i can't just stay in one space spot and i just like to learn the experience because whenever a doctor is doing a procedure or something like that i always want to know how is it beneficial for the patient also how long the injection or procedure is going to last for them because a lot of patients do tend to come back every other like month or so to get the same procedure done again um for the most part working with pain management i've seen a lot i've seen patients with a pain pump that's basically something that's inside of you and he has to use a needle to insert the medication um also as far as for patients who um come in for um uh you know pep, trigger point injections and stuff like that um he also do cortisone injections as well too so it's a lot that i learned as far as for pain management um what i would say as far as for a medical assistant if you're looking to get into medical assistant you'll have to go to a secondary school or you can go to a community college either or um i went to fortis college so i that's where i was able to get my certification from um the the length of the school was about like a year and a half or something like that it's, it wasn't that much so it's technically like you do 10 months of the schooling and like two months of externship it was kind of like that um, as far as for front office medical assistant work, so this is the administrative medical assistant, you'll do a lot of like computer based stuff. So basically you'll be collecting the co-pays, medical records and charts, scheduling appointments, filing insurance paperwork, all that type of stuff. So if you feel like you're one of the people that don't like to see blood as much or like to deal with urine or anything like that, this will be the job for you. Um, there are plenty of positions for front office medical assistant work. Um, you may see as far as where medical receptionist or um, 
you know, billing and coding. Sometimes they try to add that in there as well, too, because you do have to deal with the insurance a lot. You will be on the phone a lot dealing with like a lot of 1-800 numbers. Me personally, I don't have the time to be sitting and waiting. So that's why I prefer to do back office. And I feel like I get a lot more learning experience with back office. Um, as far as for who gets paid more, I definitely feel like sometimes back office can get paid more than um, the front office work, because at the end of the day, you're doing a lot of blood work and you're doing a lot of like you're helping a doctor with a lot of things so i feel like for the most part the raise for the front office will be like a couple of change the raise for the back office will be like a couple of dollars because at the end of the day it's a lot more that you're doing you're not really sitting down all the time when you're doing back office medical assistant work um as far as for career preparation for medical office administrators you may perform as far as for pr process healthcare paperwork schedule patients for procedures and appointments Interpatients and treatments data into the computers. Um, some of them usually call it EHR, EMR, electronic health records. So make sure you keep that in mind. Ours is e-clinical. So for the most part, whenever you get hired on for a job, make sure that you understand the function of how the EMR system works because some people may have that as their requirement whenever you're trying to get onto another job. Like they'll be like, do you have experience with um, electronic health records? If so, has e-clinicals been one of your experience? Or they may name a couple of other ones. I know e-clinical is the main one that we use. So that's why I don't really know the list of all of them but there's plenty um as far as for getting certified for within the two you can either go to ncct that's the national competency is um computer testing nha that's clinical for medical assistant and they also have nc i'm sorry ccbma that's for california um certified medical assistant testing but i'll leave all the links, links down below for you guys um as far as for seeing my journey as far as for medical assistant from the time where i went to school till now um a lot more of my information was on my other channel but that one got hacked but at the end of the day you can kind of pick up where i left off for right now as far as for career rise you can definitely advance in both of them um if you're looking to be a medical office um medical assistant administrative medical assistant you can move up to being like an office manager and as far as for back office you can definitely move up to being um you know lead medical assistant or something like that it all depends but i'm about to go ahead and get my day started you guys so hopefully this video help you out if you're looking to go into the two comment down below let me know as far as for any other questions you may have and i'm hoping everybody stay safe have a great one y'all peace